hey guys what's up so we are discussing the important science and tech topics and this is the year 2017 but these topics will be applicable even after let's say 2 3 years because these are like perennial topics which they have been asking for last 2 3 years and they will keep on asking for next 2 3 years as well so let's get started first of all dna fingerprinting why do we need it what is the phenomenon how does it work everything which you need to know about dna fingerprinting we will cover so dna fingerprinting or profiling is basically the process of determining an individual's dna characteristics which is called a dna profile which is as unique to individual as our fingerprints so like fingerprints cannot be same in two individuals similarly dna cannot be same in two individuals exception is monozygotic twins so it is usually uh, done in criminal investigation however it can also be done to identify the paternity for example it is very clear who is the mother of the baby because they come out of the mother but it is very difficult to establish the paternity and uh, there are a lot of issues in that but uh, if you have father's dna then it is easy to identify whether the said person is father or not so it can help in immigration disputes in genealogical research medical research etc and the advantage is that it can easily distinguish and identify the criminal in a case and it is more reliable than the other tests such as narco analysis etc and in india there is an urgent need to incorporate some provisions in the indian evidence act of 1872 and uh, criminal procedure in 1973 to make dna testing as evidence which is admissible in courts and similarly you need to do system upgradation as well like training of police personnel availability of labs forensic investigations etc then you have the bharat qr code so it is developed by the national payment corporation of india npci mastercard visa bharat qr code it will basically use qr code system for payments across all the merchant outlets qr code or quick response code what is it it is basically a 2d machine readable code and it is made up of black and white squares you must have seen if you are doing some paytm transfers etc and it is also used for storing urls okay unique resource locators or other information and these can be read by the camera which is available in your uh, uh, smartphone etc or ipad or uh, uh, okay so it is a uniform resource locator sorry not unique it is uniform resource locator so basically whatever you type in the tab so that is in google chrome or safari benefits it will help in the cashless economy for sure it would require merchants to only display one qr code instead of multiple ones and people will not suffer from card loss or card expiry problems they just have to use a scan to pay for transactions and they will not need to swipe their cards or debit cards and uh, this process will also eliminate the need of point of sales machine on a merchant outlet so you don't need anything at all for bharat qr code okay so obviously if sub something like that happens so it will be like really really great for india as a country because cashless economy is directly proportional to less corruption so you need to understand that part so very less corruption happens if you have a cashless economy so then let us move on to new technology which is lifi so lifi is basically light based wifi so it is a high speed wireless communication technology and it is similar to wifi so try to understand it because they have already asked a question but they will keep on asking it is a form of optical wireless communication owc and it uses the visible spectrum as well as ultraviolet and infrared radiation so all these are used in that and it can be used in electromagnetic sensitive areas like in aircraft cabins hospitals uh, nuclear power plants without causing much electromagnetic interference and advantages over wifi include so wifi basically utilizes radio waves on the other hand lifi will use visible light ultraviolet and infrared and in contrast to the radio frequency waves which are used by wifi light technically cannot penetrate through walls and doors etc so this will make your lifi much more secure so that why that is why it is much more secure it is much more faster it is good in all the possible ways and wifi is close to full capacity and lifi has almost no limitations on capacity and uh, lifi will be even 10 times cheaper than the wifi so you can imagine it is cheaper it is faster it is more sustainable and cons include uh, short range low reliability high installation costs etc in the lifi and then gelator is a compound which is in powder form 
and it has the capability to coagulate oil from an oil and water mixture and basically scientists of indian institute of science education and research trivandrum they used glucose as a starting material and by conducting various chemical reactions they finally developed gelators so what gelator can do is it can selectively congeal oil including crude oil from an oil water mixture so just remember it is a compound which is technically in powder form and it has the capability to separate oil from an oil mixture and uh, so it will really help you in a lot of things and uh, it is developed by indian institute of science education and research trivandrum so that will also help it and unlike the current methods of removal of oil from the oil water mixture gelators can be used a lot of times they can be used many many times over however if they are used for extracting crude oil from spill it cannot be reused so try to remember these points as it will help you a lot <laughs> then you have cold atom laboratory and bose einstein condensate so you have like uh, solid liquid gas plasma and the fifth state of matter is bose einstein condensate which is very very fragile and cold atom laboratory is an instrument of nasa that has been designed to be installed in the international space station so international space station is an object that flies in the low earth orbit and you can see it passing over india also you just have to go to nasa's website achieving very very low temperature is a prerequisite to study ultra cold gases and uh, it is this called as bose einstein condensate it is also called as the fifth state of matter now earth's gravity will pull the atoms of these gases therefore the cold atom laboratory is being installed in the international space station and in the state of bose einstein condensate in the rules of physics the change quantum physics begins to take over and matter can be observed behaving less like particles and more like waves very very important concept and rows of atoms they move in concert with one another as if they are riding a moving fabric and these waveforms have never been seen at temperature as low as what cal will achieve and it will give us insights into the gravity dark energy and it can help us in improving technologies including sensors quantum computers atomic clocks all these are used in space craft navigation and finally you have nasa's europa clipper mission so it is nasa's upcoming mission to investigate the habitability of jupiter's icy moon europa and it has long been a high priority for exploration because it holds a salty liquid water ocean beneath its icy crust so we think there can be life here so ultimate aim of europa clipper is to determine if it is habitable possesses all three of the ingredients necessary for life liquid water chemical ingredients energy sources sufficient to enable biology and mission is being planned for the launch in 2020s and it will arrive in the jupiter after a journey of several years so thank you for watching this lesson